so he says to me, my favorite horror series of all time is The Conjuring. <laughs> So what'd you end up doing? I threw him off a bridge. <laughs> Did you actually throw him off a bridge? Oh, look, uh, we got a new patron request from John Adano for The Dentist, 1996. Did you actually throw him off a bridge? Hello and welcome to today's edition of Frightfully Forgotten's Trash or Treasure. But before we get started, what are we drinking? We're drinking Tooth Decay Mosaic IPA. <laughs> Very fitting, because today we are covering The Dentist from 1996. This is a patron request by John Adano. This movie was directed by Brian Usna. He did so many horror movies. But one that we gotta mention is Bride of the Reanimator, which we covered. You can click the link above. And uh, Society is another one. What a fucking weird movie. It was also co-written by Stuart Gordon. He did tons of horror movies, but the reanimator we gotta mention. This movie stars Corbin Burnson, and he's in tons and tons of TV, probably most well known for LA Law. Ken Foray, or Ken Four, we've been struggling over pronouncing his fucking name for like <laughs> a decade or more here. A decade. A decade. Of course, he is in Dawn of the Dead, the best zombie film of all time. He's not in his underwear in this, though. No, he's not in his yellow gitch. So we get introduced to Alan Finestone. He's this very respectable dentist. He's very clean cut, very well dressed. They got a pool boy outside, muscular and everything, and sweating and he suspects a little bit of something going on with the pool boy and his wife probably like any man yeah. would if you got some kind of fucking hunk pool boy i should have dressed like the pool boy <laughs> <today>. <laughs> yeah he, he goes into his car to go to work but he actually doesn't go to work he comes back and he actually does catch his wife Screwing the pool boy for fuck's sake! And he is full of all that brown yeah. shit, all that sludge <laughs> coming out of the, the filters. And she's all touching it yeah. and into it, she's and all sucking his finger, with all that sludge on it, <laughs> going Did down it? on him. It's like super. Actually, it's pretty graphic. This really sets him off. He ends up following the pool boy, and this fucking pool boy is servicing that woman too, for Christ's sake. Like More ways than one. <laughs> they have a dog, though. The dog ends up getting out, and he ends up just shooting the dog. Finally going into the office, there's tons of people waiting, waiting. <laughs> taking this little kid in, and it's his first time to the dentist. And while he's picking at his teeth, he starts thinking of his wife and the filth and decay, and he starts getting all distraught. Jamming that pick into the kid's gums and tearing them all to oh. shit. <laughs> On top of that, in comes the IRS guy, Erwin R. Scheister. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking giving this dentist guy the gears. You got some problems. I got a little bit of work that he needs doing here. <laughs> yeah, um, like the IRS really yeah. does that. <laughs> if you take care of my problem, I can take care of your problem. His next client is his beauty queen. While she's under, he starts picturing that it's his wife groping her, and he's like putting his fingers in her mouth. He's all taking her pantyhose yeah, down. Taking her pantyhose like, down. Her agent is there waiting. He's like, what's taking so long? We have an appointment that we gotta get to. Opens up the door and sees the dentist is all like <laughs> getting in there, and her pantyhose are on the ground. And oh no, no, she's uh she's reacting poorly to the gas. <laughs> the manager takes the beauty queen and walks off. We're to sue you too is this dentist is like the worst <laughs> day of his life everything's just falling to pieces and all this is happening on his wedding anniversary his wife is supposed to pick him up from the office to take him out for dinner he wants to show her his new kind of themed room romantic paris theme gets her in the chair opera music's playing and straps her in he's like oh what's going on Puts the gas on, pulls out the fucking tools, man, and he goes to town. He's, oh, yeah, I know what you've been up to. <laughs> it's the next day. He's at home, and cops show up at his house. Dog was killed a couple of doors over. You know anything about that? Oh, no, no, I don't know anything about that. And pool boy shows up to finish the work that he had started the day before. Skimming the pool and his pulls it off, his tongue comes. Like, what's his tongue all about? The dentist's wife is kind of sunbathing with the... 
pad over her face like this. Pulls it off and her mouth is all torn up and disfigured and she's got her tongue missing and everything. Dentist comes out of nowhere with the scalpel and just <laughs> slits his throat like tons of times. It's <laughs> blood going everywhere. So at this point, he's lost his fucking mind. He goes back to his office. There's a whole room of people waiting, including the guy from the IRS, <laughs> who all need some sort of work done. And that's where we're going to end the plot. If you want to see how the dentist ends, finish watching it. But is it trash or treasure? Well, that'll lead us to the treasure part of this. For this type of movie, for a straight-to-video kind of movie, the acting's top-notch. There's not one straight-to-video performance in, in the <laughs> yeah. movie. And the dentist is the perfect starring role in this. He's yeah. great. Which leads us to the characters. Like, they're all good. They're all memorable. You watch The Dentist once, you remember The Dentist. Yeah, of course, yeah. You remember, actually, like, all of the front office desks at the office. You remember, they're all, like, really memorable people. There's also the customers, too. Yeah. They're waiting, right? There's the Marilyn Monroe type woman. There's yeah. the girl with the braces that everybody can relate to. The fucking IRS guy. Yeah, they're all memorable, like Everyone. well thought out characters. The effects in this movie are great. <laughs> Actually, they're really good, especially when he starts mutilating people's mouths and you see the aftermath. Like the wife goes to town on the IRS guy. <laughs> yeah. He's all just fucked. He's got that big apparatus on his that face. That crank thing. Super <laughs> cranking it like. Cranks his jaw. <laughs> and he's all drilling his tongue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. You see inside the mouth and he's like taking out like teeth like with this drill and it looks really good. Where you're like Oh, yeah. Couldn't have picked a more cringe-worthy yeah. thing. Exactly. Right? Your than mouth. your mouth, yeah. your, your teeth, because like it's so relatable. And this insane man going yeah. in there and just doing whatever he wants. And nobody likes the dentist, yeah. right? There's also the sounds too. Yeah. There's the sounds of his gloves, the, all that squinching yeah. sound of the gloves. The drill. The drills. The crunching and the maiming of yeah. the teeth, and like, um, <laughs> and the kills are pretty good too, even though there actually aren't that many kills. Yeah, he more maims than anything. Big survival rate, <laughs> but these people aren't left with much of a life after. No, is the man. problem, right? There's the one woman that he strangles with the pantyhose because yeah. she discovers what he's been doing. With the pantyhose. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And the other uh, dental assistant he kills with the syringe with the air bubbles in it right to her brain. Right. Halloween 2 style. The humor in this movie is great and it's intentional. Yeah. In the first 10 minutes when you see the pool boy getting with the wife and he's all that brown sludge <laughs> shit is on him like okay i know that this is intentional i was howling several parts of this movie just laughing uncontrollably because it's so ridiculous well yeah of course and then especially with the dentist being so clean even subtle humor like the girl is wants to get her braces off and she's showing up day after day hoping today's the day and like oh he didn't get to you today <laughs> like Oh, so she comes back the next day sitting there all happy and yeah. he didn't get to you today. Premise is pretty pretty good and pretty actually relatable too in real life because for real, dentists have some of the highest rates of like suicide yeah. out of any profession it seems. You kind of sympathize with him a little bit. Not totally, but a little bit you do. You kind of see where he's coming from, yeah. but the means to an end is sort of... <laughs> A little arguable there. That brings us to the trash of the dentist. I think the pacing is probably the biggest piece of trash in this movie. It starts off really good. He's fantasizing about killing the pool boy and he doesn't. Then after that, it takes him a long time to really fall off the deep edge. They were going for a steady decline in the madness, yeah, right? A slow burn, yeah. But it's too slow for the type of movie that it is. When you watch The Dentist, I want to see him killing lots of people with dentist tools and yeah, shit. Yeah, right away. Right away. I don't want to wait 45 minutes yeah. for him to just start maiming people. I want to see some good deaths. You're looking at your watch, you're like, man, he better pick up the fucking kill count here. And he kind of like, does, but not quite enough. Not enough. Yeah. It's not enough to really ruin the movie, but leaves you wanting so much more. Sadly, the music is a piece of trash in this too. And it's done by 
horror movie legend Alan Howarth. He scored so many movies with John Carpenter as a collaborator, and it's like, this just sounds like straight-to-video 90s generic, boring horror movie music. Exactly. <laughs> There's nothing special about it, nothing intriguing, nothing that builds tension. It's just boring shit. Shame on you, Howard. Come on, you could have did better than this. Good yeah. Lord. Phoned it in big time. <laughs> he must have got a big paycheck or something. And another piece of this trash is the fact that Ken Four, Ken Four A, isn't used enough in this movie. He's barely in it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, why even have. Such a great man in this movie if you're not gonna fucking use him. So that brings us to the consensus. The dentist. Trash or treasure? I think it is pure treasure. It's treasure. <laughs> it's actually a lot of fun. It is. Besides a few points we mentioned, it's a, I had a blast. I was laughing and having a good time for most of it, but did a little bit of this yeah. for some of it, you know? <laughs> right, exactly. But it does make you cringe. Makes you go like this yeah. a lot, yeah. which is what I'm, it was yeah. intended to do. That's what a horror movie should do. Exactly. And there's actually a sequel, too. Which I really want to watch. So, until next time, keep drinking. <laughs>